When I set out to do this story, a number of survivors opened up to me but would not allow me to tell their story in public. As Antua was 18, when she got pregnant, she tells me in a chat she could not live with the stigma of being a teenage mother. But for the timely intervention of her mother, she would have consumed poison. Godwin also reached out to me via chat. His ex-girlfriend is currently in coma. She also consumed what he described as an unknown mixture and is yet to regain consciousness. The note she left behind said she could not deal with how unemployment had turned her into a beggar. Many suicide cases happen spontaneously due to inability to handle the pressures of the issues of life, ranging from financial difficulties, breakups from relationships, chronic pain and illnesses or loss, as in the case of Nanaya Mensah, not her real name. It was from when I'd completed JHS. I just completed JHS. My dad wasn't thinking of me anymore because apparently I'd gone to visit my mom. So, and I wasn't allowed to talk to my mom because they are not together. As a punishment, he's not going to take care of me anymore. The emotional trauma was so much. And that was how come the first one happened. So what did you do? So the first one, I think I remember taking I didn't think I didn't even know what it was. I was just a child. But just the name, it felt like, oh, it was something that would cause some damage. It wasn't really effective. So that was how come I tried again and again and again. The second one, I don't know if you know, um, amoxicillin, the, those capsules. I think there are different types of it. So I overdosed on, I think, four pills of each one of them. So you know how many? So about 16 pills or so. Then after, I decided to take a bottle of bleach. And that, that, that one did work. Just that, I, at that time I was at my mom's family's house. So I think they found me that drank a bottle of bleach. I actually did a fourth one, which also didn't work. <laughs> what, what did you do? Rat poison. Oh. I, I just think it wasn't the authentic type. <laughs> because if it was, probably would have How much did you take? I just remember I being like a powdered type and like really taking a lot. In six years, she has attempted suicide four times because she could not bear the impact of being neglected by family. All the negative energy around was a lot. My grandma had said things like, I'm going to be like my mom with different children from different men because I look like her. So it was like a whole lot of negative energy. Then starting now, the help was not coming. I asked my mom for money and she was directing me to a man. For Nanaya, her family, which was to be her support system, rather worsened her plight. She's drawing strength from her predicament to motivate herself. I think at a point, I tuned it into a form of um, motivation to push myself to become everything I want to become. But the real pain or the sword didn't really heal. I think now I'm still in the process of healing from all those things that happened as a child. Especially as at 20 when the rape thing happened again and having to deal with the thoughts. Now I'm trying to see a therapist. So it's something that I'm working on still. She tells me suicide should never be an option. I don't think it's worth it. Pain is, is, is a whole lot of things to deal with. It's not the end of the world, I would say that. I'm still not where I want to be, <laughs> but I'm not where I used to be. Things will get better as time goes on. A stance corroborated by popular comedian and suicide survivor, Funny Face. Don't kill yourself. Let me tell you something. Everything that you are going through right now, if you stay focused and stay fast in the Lord, trust me, your end, you look back at this day and you laugh. Mm. I'm a living testament. I'm telling you this. Until recently, attempted suicide was a crime under the laws of Ghana per the Criminal Offenses Act of 1960. Several researches uh, published, even by the Ghana Mental Health Authority, that shows that 
people who attempt suicide are people that have mental disorders because for a person to come to the decision to take his or her own life most of them may be suffering from some extreme depression or some form of disorder and so when those people are caught in the act what they need is medical care and not imprisonment in ghana about 1500 suicide cases are reported annually and in each reported case of suicide are four unreported cases summing the number of unreported cases to almost 6,000 yearly. The African continent is said to have one psychiatrist for every 500,000 inhabitants, 100 times less than the WHO recommendation. No matter the situation you're going through, always remember suicide should never be an option. There's always help available for you. Call the Suicide Helpline 0800 Suicide is never an option. Grace Hamwajuman, TV3 News, Accra.